Hi guys, welcome to the Quakey Beagle. As always, I'm Dave Cash, and this is a desperate appeal for people to come and subscribe to the channel. Please. So, thanks for clicking on the video. As always, much appreciated is your support. Sound like Yoda then, didn't mean to. Today we're talking about a project that we've got going on. It's not a particularly strenuous project, but it's one that we can all get involved in. Like a class project, but for Quirky Beaglers. We're talking about a playlist we've got going on over on Spotify. Now I know Spotify by some is considered to be the enemy of records and vinyl, but it's not. After all, you can't really set up a record player in a car successfully especially not on the roads around where I live because it's like driving across hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of small children. And I, I think it's a nice accompaniment, you know. Um, on long drives I have loads of playlists that I like to listen to, so I've never been one to knock Spotify. I've been a subscriber for a long time. I just much prefer vinyl. But in this case, we've created a playlist and it's turned out to be very, very handy as Spotify. Did a Yoda again there, I didn't mean to. The playlist is called, if you're looking for it, the Quirky Beagle Time Capsule. And what I'd like you to imagine is this. You're gonna put some tracks into the time capsule for someone in 100 years time to open. What tracks do you think are important enough for a generation 100 years from now to listen to? An experience specifically it doesn't need to be what what you consider to be your favorite record it I'm talking about records that you feel are important they've changed the face of music they've changed music history for, for good they might have changed the world or they might have changed your world there might be important lyrics in there there might be something about that song that you feel is so desperately important that a hundred years from now somebody still needs to listen to it Maybe it reflects our time, uh, certainly in the 80s and even the early 90s and of course the 70s, the punk movement really seemed to reflect the mood in this country. Uh, there was a lot of uh, republicanism going on there, anti-establishment, anti-monarchy, that kind of thing. So is there a, a punk truck you think should go in there? Maybe there's a uh, even one with a sporting reference um, something that references a, a big sporting event in your life, possibly, or it came out around that time and reminds you of it. Uh, perhaps it's the first gig you ever went to where it just blew your mind. You know, it, it, it's an important record to you, it's an important record that you feel like needs to be experienced by another generation. And it's really, really easy to add your choice. You can head over to Facebook, find the Spotify post that I put on there a couple days ago, and let us know on there. You can put in the comments what song you're including and why. And you can also go over onto YouTube, and if you're watching this on YouTube, you're already here, congratulations, well done. Put it in the comments below. I will also include a link to the playlist in the comments below, so you can check out the, the songs that I've already put on there. There's some great records on there and I'm still adding loads. Um, there's some Beatles on there, there's some Clash, The Jam, uh, there's Def Leppard, uh, Hendrix, you know, these are all bands that I absolutely, uh, bands and artists that I absolutely adore, um, Bob Dylan, there's certain, I was Van Morrison on there, um, into, um, oh, I've forgotten the name of the song, <laughs> that's how important it is, uh, Into the Mystic, off his uh, Moondance album, is is superb, it's, if you don't have that as your wedding dance song, uh, you know, your first dance, did you even get married? Yeah, just, just saying. That you basically screwed up your wedding if you didn't have that as your 
your first dance song. Um, so yeah, please do go on over. Let us know what records, what songs you think should be included and why. And there's no real criteria, we'll, we'll just throw it in. And it doesn't matter whether there's 50 songs on there or 2,000 songs on there, I don't know what the limit is. But we just want to hear your choices for the Quickie Beagle time capsule. And we'll be, uh, we'll be happy to put them in. While I've got you, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can also go on to our Facebook page, and I think you've still got time. Got a few more days left to enter the competition to win uh, this album. This is Joy Division and Unknown Pleasures. And pretty soon we're going to be announcing the next one, which will be Halloween special because we're entering into October. So uh, I've got to rack my brain and figure out what Halloween themed record we can put out there. Obviously there's John Carpenter's Halloween. Um, so if I lose my imagination, I'll go for that. Um, but I'll think of something. And that's it. That's everything. That's, that's it for the video. It's been an absolute pleasure chatting to you and wasting your time this morning. Uh, have a great day, be nice to each other, and don't forget to subscribe. Whoops, bit of windy pops there, and don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.